The Reed team is back with me, and today it is Judd Tracy and Andy Reed of the Charter One Reed team. So welcome back, guys. Thanks Good for to see us. you. Thank yeah. you. Happy summer. Me yes. too. Yeah. So we're going to start a little bit today about um, if somebody's thinking about selling. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's some things you should probably do before you put it on the market. Sure. What are some of those things? Well, so they're kind of, in, as I see it, two stages. Um, one, so you're trying to catch them. A lot of people are searching through the web, mm -hmm. through different avenues, and so um, you want to get them excited about your home. And so you want to make sure you have really good pictures of the property. Yeah. You know, we do professional photos. We hire a company to do that. So you want your photos really good because a lot of times that may turn somebody on or off. Sure. You know, as to whether they want to see it or not. Right. But once you do that to get those photos in the overall area looking good, there's some things you may want to do prior to putting it on the market at the house um, or the condo or whatever. Um, so, for example, um, you know, real estate is, is an emotional thing for people. And yes. when they go up to that house or they drive up, that, that first impression is a big deal, whether it catches their eye. So, you know, just the, the normal things like, you know, you want your landscaping to look good you know sometimes you may need to cut some things back because it's overgrown um, usually um, sometimes we'll recommend people to power get their home power wash right. the driveway sometimes the roof gets um, stained and they have these companies that will you know I think it's like a soft pressure clean and it'll make it really pop um, believe it or not you know when we're up there showing the house we get to the front door you know we're working the lockbox or whatever yeah. they're just standing there yes so I always say have you you know have a good front door presentation you know make sure you know some doors are all beat up in this make them look pretty have maybe some flowers out there right. um, inside you know carpet you know just some things that you know you may need to replace carpet or paint, do some painting some touch up um, uh, clutter you know some people have tons of stuff some people don't have much but you know um, and we actually have a, a company that will go in there and do an assessment and help them okay. do all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so that when we just, I've just done that recently and it turned out great. Um, again, outdoor living areas, um, you know, if you've got a great view, but you can't really see it because the trees have kind of overgrown, maybe cutting up some limbs, you know, limbing the things up just to open it up, yeah. make it look pretty. So, you know, those are some things to make your house pop. So it's catching, so then you take the pictures. Yes. So then you catch them looking at their iPad or whatever, and they go, this is a great looking house. Let's go see it. Once they get there, you want to, you know, want to put your best foot forward. Yeah, so it's still a great looking house. Absolutely. Right when they look at there, yeah. yeah. So um, I know you have a listing we want to get to, so I don't want to take mm -hmm. too long on this, sure. but once it, once it is on the market, are there tips for yeah, that Andy, too? Yeah, you know, hit on most of everything that I was going to talk about oh, as well. Oh, my bad. Yeah, good. No, <laughs> no that's mean, good. That means you guys are on the same page. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, the biggest thing is you only get one chance to make a first impression. Right. And so it goes kind of before the listing and after. So when you're bringing people in, you know, whether the house, around here a lot of times we'll get a musty smell in houses that are sitting. Yeah. You know, keep the air on at lower temperature so air is moving. Keep the fans running. Right. Um, just little things, you know, candles, scents, something that's going to make the house smell inviting. Yeah. And it's, as you say, it's ongoing for the duration of Absolutely. the listing. So it's not, you get Absolutely. the pretty pictures, you can't then let it and, go, and lights, go crazy again. You know, if yeah. they're in there, yeah. you know, if you can, you know, before, when you leave, make sure the lights are on just yeah. to, you know, just little things like yeah. that. Yeah. Make it homey. Yeah. So we have a listing that we want to get to. Yeah, funny you said that. Um, the one we were going to talk about actually just went under contract the other day. Yeah. Well, that's what we do this um, for. That, absolutely. <laughs> so it went under contract within two weeks. Excellent. Um, a beautiful house, but also just listed another one right down the street uh, to Westfield Court in Woodbridge out in Bluffton. It's uh, listed at 294. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, just over 2,000 square feet. Uh, pretty turnkey. Uh, zone for a great school out there as well if you're looking in that you know the family range generally is what it's it's looking towards out there younger yeah. families that have want their, their children to be in a certain school absolutely um but it's it, you know it's ready to go and and ready to show well it's always great to have you guys thank you for bringing your expertise every mm. time absolutely. so if you want their expertise make sure you're calling the team thank thanks you. thanks